Hello, thanks for following along with the multiplication table project again. In this video, I want to show you how I built an application before March 2017 and uh, how I will do it in the future, starting from March onwards. So before I would go to Application Builder, I would hit Create, and I would create my application. And I um, have a document where I list all the steps that I actually do in almost any application I build. So for example, I create a global page, I enable feedback, I give an alias, I enable session state protection, etc. So you can see this on my blog, you can download this document as well. The next bit, because I was always doing this, I created a starter application from this. And so I could just import the application and I was done. Um, but something better came along. And in one of my previous blog posts, I told you get an apex.oracle.com account. And the reason is that uh, there are some features on there that are not available yet in the full version. Uh, that you have on-premise, or in my case, on Exadata Express. So when we create a new application on apex.oracle.com, there's a new feature called Blueprint. And Blueprint is the same as our uh, starter application, but it's going a lot further. So let's create a Blueprint application. And this is what I recommend uh, doing, or I will use this uh, moving forward. So I have a full application. Uh, I can add some pages to it. So this is still the same as what we are used to. Um, some things are not working yet. They are still working on this. This is a preview release. For example, if I click here, you will see it's coming soon. Um, but you can check out, for example, master detail. It's a new way of defining a master detail. It's quite nice. But in this video, I'm not going to uh, do the master detail. Um, I will just walk you through some of the nice features that they built in. So I will check all of them and you can, after the video, you can check them out yourself. Uh, I will create a team style. I can choose a different application icon. Um, and I can define where I want my navigation and that's about it. So I can hit create application, and now it's building everything for me. So check this out. It's definitely worthwhile to check Blueprint. Um, so it's doing more than just building pages. It's also building some things in the back end. So it's created some tables to support the pages. So for example, when I look at my tables, all the things with FA, so this prefix, those are created by um, a Blueprint. So I can go now to my application and I can run my Blueprint application. I can log in. So you see everything that's, that's there. So I just have a home screen, uh, but here I have view my profile. So uh, I can update my profile. So this is based on a backend table. Um, I can uh, go to my preferences. Um, there's a whole administration section, but I um, propose that you look at this um, when you build it yourself. So let me now create my starter application for the multiplication table project. So I will go here again, I will do blueprint, but I'm not going to uh, do everything. So multi application table is my application. I'm not going to add pages for now. Um, and I don't need access control. I will build this myself. Configuration options, I don't need that. Um, I will have global search. Uh, I will, would like to have activity report, email framework, help pages, time zone support. I want them to allow feedback and I want notifications. So I will use Vita Slate. Uh, I will change the icon again. This looks a bit like multiplications. Site menu is good. My table prefix is MTL. 
and I hit create application. So although I am on apex.oracle.com, I can use this feature here, it's fully supported. Um, and what I can do next is I can export this application and I can import it uh, on my own environment. So here it's exporting, okay? So I will hit import on my Exadata Express instance, choose the file, here it is, hit next. And we install the application. So now my blueprint application that I created on apis.oracle.com is now in my Exadata Express one. I will install the supporting objects, but I will change them later on. I don't need all of them. Um, okay, so I can run my application, multiplication table application. And I sign in, I have my uh, home page. I don't have user preferences or user profile, but I have my preferences. I have my help page, I can see notifications in my administrator section. I don't have all the, the full uh, things, but I have enough for me to get started. For example, I really like the activity reports. So I have all this. So this is my starting base. Now I will add the, the game to it and all the rest. 